So as you saw, that was last week uh, when I had a go at doing these oak sleepers. Now the priority for me is the tops. They're gonna be the most visible and the most kind of tactile. That's what people might sit on. Um, so I wanna get all those as smooth as possible. So I've got four of those to do along this side and I'll finish that one down the other end. And then the sides, rather than planing all those, I'm just gonna sand those. And the sanding will take them down to the same color, but it won't get rid of those saw marks. And that's the only reason why I'm planing is because the sawmill marks every kind of six inches there's quite a deep gouge from I guess through the bandsaw um, or whatever the sawmill blade was. Uh, so the first job is going to be plane all the way down here and I was getting a bit of tear out before so I need to work out which way down the grain or up the grain I need to go on each board and try and avoid that. I'm using this cheap as chips hand planer. Uh, I think it's about 20, 30 quid, uh, but it seems to do the job. It's obviously only a third of the width of the board, so I've been kind of experimenting which is the best way to go. I think it's probably to take out the centre strip and then plane the two sides, and then I've been sanding the steps, but I'm doing it gradually, taking about a millimetre at a time, and working my way through. Ideally, you can get big beam planers, and you could zip one of those along, and that would you know, do it in a couple of passes. A little bit more tricky with this, but we'll see how we go. Right, before you get too dusted out, this is the sort of finish that it creates. So it's, uh, it's not a bad finish at all. Like I said, it's taking about a millimetre down, so it's leaving that lip. But it's not deep enough to get rid of these saw marks. Actually, the more you sand and the more you try and finish, the more evident these become. So we need to go down at least another two mil to get rid of all of those. Now, where I was getting tear out on the first board over here, um, worked out what that is, and it's literally, obviously you want to go with the direction of the grain, but actually you don't just want to go along the grain, you want to make sure you're going with the grain. So if you feel, it's quite evident on oak, if you feel, Either way, it's really it's, you know, like you're stroking a dog or something. It's really smooth this way, and if I'm planing that way, it seems to be much better. Whereas if you go the other way, you feel like you're just about to get a splinter, and that's where it creates the tear out, I think. So that's working quite well coming along. But you can see all of these saw marks. We're probably about half a mil off now. But if we were to leave those there, they would be really quite evident once this is all there. Uh, kind of stained and oiled. So I'm going to get 50 grit sandpaper now and see how we go. Okay, that's the first pass with the 50 grit. That's taken most of those lines off working over here there's a few left a few burn marks over here to get rid of from the planer so we'll keep going and then we'll drop it down to the next grip Well, that's everything to about 80 grit, 100 grit. First thing I'm going to do is take the edge off these. Now I did that on the first sleeper over there using the plane, um, but it's never as accurate as doing it with a router. So I'm going to kind of uh, have a bit of a test piece here, run a couple of different depths, see what I like, and then we'll just put a chamfer bit in and, uh, and take the corners off. Okay, I didn't get loads of footage of that sanding um, because my other camera had packed up and I didn't have a tripod for this one plus I didn't want to get dust all over them but what I've done is taken them down from 50 grit 
to a 120 grit uh, sorry 50 grit to an 80 grit to a 120 grit um, focusing mainly on the top sleeper because that's going to be our finished kind of most visible um, surface and also the one that potentially people might sit on and I've also used the router to put a chamfer bit all the way around the outside to take the edge off so here's how the surface is now so it's pretty smooth to touch and you can see there where I've taken the edge off I could use a round over bit but I think this is going to tie in nicely with uh, how I'm going to finish the oak frame I haven't planed the sides but I've sanded those as well so they're pretty smooth Make sure there's no hard corners for uh, heads to bump on, little heads. This sleeper right in the corner has got some great uh, character in it. So, uh, you know, all this would have been hidden if we hadn't sanded it back and, uh, and planed off that top grade surface. So apologies, that was a bit of a short one. Uh, I'm still finishing the last coat on my finish, uh, but the next video will feature the UV oil going on and showing you the final product. Uh, with the project being finished. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember, if you can, do it yourself.